Hello, thanks for joining our video lecture series for GG413 Geological Data Analysis. This video will cover the Man Whitney U test or the Wilcoxon Rank Sum test. And this is covered also in section 2.3.2 of Wessel. Now, this test is a non parametric test and it's a two sample test of the median. So this would be applicable to the situation in which we, we have two samples, perhaps from two different locations, and we want to know whether the median of the sampled populations are the same or different. So a good null hypothesis or the appropriate null hypothesis might be that the median of the first population that's been sampled is equal to the median of the second population sampled. And of course, the null hypothesis would be that the two populations have different medians. So I'm going to outline the steps of the Mann-Whitney U test. The first is you take your two samples of lengths n. lengths, uh, our two samples have lengths n1 and n2. And then you're going to combine those two samples into a single vector and then sort the values of the measurements in ascending order. So that will be step one. Step two is then to rank the sorted values from one to n plus one. So the lowest measurement, or the smallest measurement, will have a rank of 1. The second smallest will have a rank of 2, and so on, until the highest value, highest measurement, will have a rank of n1 plus n2. Now, if two values are equal, then you assign them both the same rank equal to the mean of the ranks that they would have if they were different. And I'll show you an example of how exactly to do that. And then the third step is to sum the ranks from the first sample.
So the sum of the ranks from the first sample is equated, defines the variable w1, and then the sum of the ranks from the second sample defines the variable w2. So before I get too, uh, too far ahead of everyone, uh, let me illustrate the steps by example. So our first sample will have uh, six measurements in it. And I guess for, for this case, let's say these are, these are magnesium numbers in two lava rocks. And so uh, the two rocks come from two different locations. So we want to know if the median MG number from the two different locations is the same. So the first sample has six measurements given as follows. And in MATLAB, you could put that in a vector. And the second sample has four measurements, 64, 63, 65, and 60. The MG numbers are 63 through 60. And so that was our step one. And then we want to combine them into a single vector. So our combined vector becomes, starting with the lowest value, which is 55, the next highest is 56, and so on. So this is our combined vector, and it should be 10 values long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. OK, and I've sorted them, as we said. The other thing we have to do is to identify them with the sample. OK, so the first value of 55 came from the first sample. The second value, 56, came from the first sample. The third, also from the first. The fourth, from the first. The fifth was from the second sample. And so on. Okay. So those could be our, this is our vector of sample identifiers. And then we have to assign ranks. And so again, the ranks go start from 1 and go up to 10. Okay, so we've got to sum the ranks from the first sample. And so that's 55, 56, 58, 59, 61, 63. And those have ranks of W1 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Oops, and I'm forgetting that these two had the same value, okay? So instead of 7 and 8, I'll make this 7.5. And 
they'll both have the mean value, which is 7.5. So the mean of 7 and 8 is 7.5. And so I have to change the rank of that last value to 7.5. And that gives, a dub, for sample 1, W1 is equal to 23.5 and W2 is equal to 5 plus 7.5 plus 9 plus 10 is equal to 31.5. Okay, so I've finished steps 1 through 3. Now step 4 is to compute u1, and that's equal to w1 minus 1 half n1 times n1 plus 1. And also we're going to compute u2, which is the same equation, but for the second sample. And the first gives us 23.5 minus n1 is 6 divided by 2, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So that means this is 21, and so the total value for u1 is 2.5. And u2 is 31.5 minus four samples, four measurements in sample two times five, and that's equal, so the U value for the second sample is 21.5. So let me explain what these functions mean uh, real briefly. It turns out that if we sum indices from 1 to, for example, n1. So we're just summing numbers from 1 to n1. And then that sum is equal to 1 half n1 times n1 plus 1. Okay. So, and re recall that u1 is equal to w1 minus the sum from 1 to n1. So if all values in sample 1 were less than all values in sample 2, then the rank sum of sample 1 will equal the sum of the ranks of the first n1 terms. That is, w1 will equal 1 half n1 times n plus 1. And if that's true, then u1 will equal 0. Therefore, the closer u1 1 is to 0, the closer we would be to this n-member situation, and the less likely it will be that the two populations have the same medians. So it looks like I'm getting close to my time limit, so I'm going to continue the discussion of the Mann-Whitney U-test in the next video.